This is a family business. Myself and my wife are the owners. We have seven employees. We strive to make this a place where everybody wants to work, not where you have to go to work. We started business in August of 2008. In the garage with a single head press and a flash dryer just goofing around, seeing if it was something we wanted to play with. And that lasted for probably two months, maybe. We ended up getting a six head and we started to grow like wildfire in the garage and had to move it out fairly quickly. I bought our first M&R equipment in two, the end of 2009. It was a 1989 10 color Challenger 1, the original. How old was it when you got it? It had 150,000 impressions in 20 years. I put on almost 750,000 over two years. We ended up selling that press for the same amount that we bought it for and picked up a little sporty. And this is a 2006. When I bought it, it had 2.7 million impressions on it. It works flawlessly, holds dead nuts registration. We've got a little over three and a half million impressions on it now. And we've had it approximately a year and a half. We did, we just bought a cruiser recently. The cruiser goes together very easy. I had a helper helping me out. My daughter, who's eight years old, was helping me tighten the bolts. My name is Remy and this is Isabel. This is the cruiser that I helped put together. She decided that it was, she was gonna be able to put this together because it was as easy as her Legos. Well, I asked if I could help and he said, well, why don't you put the screws in? He already started some of that, but then I got to do the rest. I would go back and retorque them, but I let her pretty much run the show for, for putting a lot of the parts together on the machine. No. It wasn't hard, it was very easy. The reason why I bought that is to integrate in all of our pallets that we have for our auto onto our manual. We had a different brand manual before that nothing interchanged. Now we can use our sleeve pallets, our youth pallets, and I even have it set up with the tri-lock on the cruiser so that we can use the tri-lock on, on the cruiser. And you can do a full sample cycle now? Full sample cycle in a quarter of the time that it took before. Do pre-press strike-offs. Instead of setting up the auto to run it, we can set up anything up to six colors on that. Do a quick strike-off for our approval for our customer. All that time, this thing's running. We bring every one of our customers back here to see the process because that helps add value to what we do. Correct separations, screens, de-inking, recoding, we expose them all to that. This, there's not, this isn't magic back here, so we show them what we do and the labor involved, and that's where it adds the value. We buy the best inks that are made. We buy the best equipment, obviously, and we hire good quality people so that we produce a high-end product. And that is our customer niche now. A lot of our customers, price is third on the list. It's quality and customer service, and then price. Next big growth point is we're gonna to move to a larger facility and we're gonna add another machine. Right now we're gonna to go to a second shift until I can find the right facility, and then we'll pull the trigger and add another one of these babies. I enjoy the freedom that I have having my own business. I enjoy being able to make a product that people wanna have. Everybody loves a shirt. And when we can take and make what we consider a perfect print, and that customer opens up the box and looks at it and smiles, you know you did your job.